I'm so excited today that we've got Claire, our Chief Innovation Officer, with us to discuss a deep dive on liquid exfoliants because so many names are talked about and for those people at an entry level of skincare, it's just much easier, I think, to explain what something does. But there are many of you out there who are fanatical and on this journey with us and a little bit further down the journey. So I thought that was a good opportunity to really look in detail and understand fully what different acids do, how they work, and how we support them with different ingredients so they work at their optimum without that irritation. Yeah, All right. I, I think this category I am the most excited about <laughs> because I have never been able to use uh, a liquid exfoliant before. Okay. Yeah. The reason being, most of them are way too harsh. Yeah, yeah. and they'll so, have glycolic acid as their main ingredient. And yeah. it's not that those ingredients are not good, it's actually how they're formulated. So yeah. if you just put in a formulation with pure glycolic acid and then a few other minor ingredients to make up the formula, it's yeah. actually going to be super effective, but also super irritating. Yeah? yeah, And I've never been able to get away with using an acid or a liquid exfoliant before now. For those of you who are, you know, you might be looking at the three and wondering which one you are. So I'm going to start with why we developed it to in, because we knew there'd be people like you, <laughs> but also people who have sensitive skin and just maybe have an experience with an acid once and it was a bad experience. So they're like, no way, Jose. Yeah. And we're saying, actually, there are beautiful ingredients you can put in with very gentle, PHAs which will help your skin. So for those of the people watching who don't know what a PHA is, let's start. PHA is, is a polyhydroxy acid. So it just basically is part of the acid family. Mm -hmm. It is a larger molecule. I think that means it is just slower penetrating in the skin yeah. and super less irritating. So we use a gluconolactone and a lactobionic. Yeah? yeah. So both of those are really effective but they are completely non-irritating. So mm. for sensitive skin, absolutely great. Fantastic. I and mean, you showed me this chart really well but about pH yeah. balance, because in biology, I think it was biology, I learned about pH balance yeah. and, and, and the piece of paper that turns. So the litmus test. The yeah. litmus test. So we just roll back a little bit because this really helps me to understand what should the pH level of my skin be? Because we have kind of seven, which we always think is it's like neutral. neutral, and above it is very alkaline and below it is very acidic. So. I always sort of thought in my ignorant days that skin should be at a, as a neutral pH of seven, but that's not correct because natural skin is at 5.5. 5 5 5. 5. Yeah. But it ranges between like probably four to six. All right. So if you are drier skin, your mm -hmm. skin is slightly more alkaline, so it's actually going to be a little bit higher yeah. in pH, so it could be up to six. Yeah. Um, if your skin is oilier, it's slightly more acidic, so it's going to be okay. maybe slightly lower, so about five or maybe lower. So all those women that you and I come across where we look at their skin and we think, hmm, and they're saying, can I have more moisturizer? And we're looking at their skin thinking, hmm, bit dry but it's that dryness because the ph level is wrong yes so their skin is slightly more alkaline it's too alkaline yeah. so that's why before you just go to that heavy heavy moisturizer our pha tiptoe in could just bring down that level to a five mm -hmm. and just balance out your skin more so dryness means those those so sloshing skin, off the dead yeah. skin cells is very slow, isn't it? So your skin naturally gets rid sheds. of sheds yeah. so well, you know how much house dust is our skin probably 90% of your house dust is your skin. Really? You That's lose like 500 million skin cells a day, yeah? Okay. So your skin is constantly shedding skin cells, yeah. yeah? So if you've got drier skin, your skin is slightly more alkaline, so the shedding process is slower mm -hmm. naturally. Mm -hmm. If you have oilier skin, it's actually a little bit faster, which is why your pores get clogged up, yeah? yeah? And therefore yeah. the oil builds up underneath, and that's yeah. why you have more blemishes and congestion with oilier skin. So by okay. using, an acid or a liquid exfoliant, yeah. you're able to speed up that process or normalize that process. process. So yeah. for oily um, congested skin, you want to use something that is not just pure AHA, yeah. that is going to be the fastest way to speed up the exfoliation process, but you actually want something that's declogging the pores, yeah. which is why we use the BHAs, because they're a slightly okay. different molecule and they work a slightly different way. So in our, our PHA, yeah, in so a, yeah. that one, we actually have a glycine bonded azelaic acid. Mm -hmm. And I know you love azelaic acid. Yes, I love it. Yes. Um, so we've used a very less irritating form. So it's calming, soothing, redness. Mm -hmm. It's also helping to build the strength of your skin. Because what I feel is that if we use the PHA every day, 
you're actually building the strength of your skin mm -hmm. so that you can, if you weren't able to tolerate something stronger previously, you actually can train your skin and be able to use something stronger okay. in the future or at least add it into your routine. Exactly. In the BHA, we're doing all that work to declog the pores and then we're, we're sloshing off the dead skin cells at an accelerated rate. What are we doing to support the skin? So we have two different types of ingredients. We have La Corella vulgaris. Mm -hmm. So this is like uh, microalgae, yeah? yeah? But it's really, really great. It's like a superfood for the skin. It is, I yeah? love Corella so vulgaris. So yes. it is so good at balancing mm -hmm. oil. And it also helps to help if you have, it clears mm -hmm. like, we did some tests early on in the development of this project where somebody used um, a serum with this ingredient yep. and actually got rid of their acne. Yeah. And also we've used it in Rebalance. It's not our first time we've Absolutely. used this product. So I think we loved how it's behaving in our skincare makeup hybrid. And it's hybrid. such a great yeah. ingredient and it really helps to get rid of the piacnes, which is with the bacteria that yeah. feeds the spots. Yeah. Okay. So this one is really, really great. We also have other uh, ingredient blend is ginger, cinnamon mm -hmm. and burnet. And these are... I don't know what burn it is. Oh, tell me how they work, but I really want to know what burn it is. Burn it. It's just like a plant extract, okay, yeah, but they're super astringent. And this blend together is really good at oil balancing. So the whole thing about Find Your Balance, the BHA, is to balance the oil, mm -hmm. yeah? Because the oil is what feeds the spots, which is getting your congestion. Yeah. So getting rid of the oil, rebalancing that, and getting your skin normalized is really really important yeah so it's not just dealing with immediate but it's allowing it not to come back absolutely that's what we want yeah yeah, yeah. all right and the, the one good thing about this is i unless you have really congested skin i would not use it all every day yeah i actually think for me i switch between all the acids so i use a bha like a week before i have my um period yeah. because it is actually really great my oil levels are starting to increase and it actually helps to prevent me having that hormonal breakout okay. so with monthly cycles we know it's a inequality of it, it's a change in hormone yeah. levels but if you're somebody who doesn't have a monthly cycle there are still hormones overacting like testosterone Absolutely. is a naughty boy mm -hmm. and so if you do have more testosterone in your system consistently then I would presume you would use this more often. Absolutely, because testosterone is actually the thing that is triggering um, your oil production, yeah? yeah? And for um, people who have a menstrual cycle, it actually is the ratio is different that week before mm -hmm. your period, and therefore that's why you're getting spots. Yeah. So those that um, don't have a, um, a regular cycle, then the testosterone is always going to be that little bit higher so yeah. their skin is a little bit oilier yeah so the bha is actually a perfect solution yeah. yeah and you can use it more frequently but as i always say you have to listen to your skin yeah, yeah? um and make sure that you don't overdo it because the bha is actually a super strong yeah um formula i think it's also good for people who might be perimenopausal or menopausal and they're using some hrt supplement because they're going to be playing with their hormone levels because maybe they're lacking in some. Yeah. And I remember when I first started on that, I was sort of over-prescribed too much testosterone, so I broke out in spots. Yeah. So I think really good also for that change in your life when the hormones are just so misbehaving and it creates um, things that you never saw. Just bringing it in and out of your routine yeah. as you need it, I think yeah. is really, really key. I think when you get to a certain age, and for me, over 40, an AHA is really, really great because mm -hmm. your skin is starting to slow down. So it doesn't matter in terms of which gender you are. Yeah. It's, after 40, everything starts to yeah. get a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, being able to speed up that process is going to make sure that your skin is in its best condition possible. Yeah. Now, AHAs. AHAs. Reveal yourself, which is because I've used liquid exfoliants for many years. So I use the um, I use Re Reveal Yourself um, probably five out of seven days actually, mm -hmm. and I find for me it's the way of maintaining that glow to my skin. I feel that it really helps, and I want you to go into the ingredients and why this because I just want to talk about this. We always associate. Um, L absorbic acid with dealing with pigmentation, but I feel reveal yourself. I come back from holiday, especially when I might have helped, somehow had some pigmentation triggered by the sun, and it really is incredible to reduce that. Mm -hmm. It's it just like nearly better for my skin than L absorbic acid. Yeah. All right. So we've got two main of hydroxy acids. Will you just talk about what they do and how they work? So the strongest AHA out there is um, glycolic acid. Yeah which we know then is also super irritating. It's so irritating yeah. on surface The second skin. best yeah. is lactic acid, mm -hmm. yeah? And then malic acid is coming 
a close third. So yeah. lactic is made from milk and malic is kind of apples yeah. exactly okay. yeah so we're using really strong so they mm -hmm. have a s small molecular size they're penetrating deeply yeah so they're helping to lower the ph of the skin so mm -hmm. speeding up the uh, shedding process of all the dead skin cells and shedding off a bit yeah, of that and declogging <laughs> everything yeah. we also have another unique acid it's succinic acid so this acid this is a newer acid isn't this it? is succinic. really yeah. uh, one of the latest technologies out there so this also helps to help declog the pores mm -hmm. so it works a little bit like a salicylic and also a little bit like an AHA. So it's quite a new and novel ingredient. So this one is super strong. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the difference in the declogging for people who use Reveal Yourself as opposed to the declogging for people who use Find Your Balance is my skin can feel tired and dry and it's that declogging I want to work on more than I've got spots. Yeah. 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 Okay. And that's what it does. It also helps to... Um, give you that glow yeah. yeah and I think that glow is what we're all searching we're for all searching at the for. end of the day and the supporting yeah. act in this formulation we also have those lovely feeding ingredients so let's yeah. talk a little bit about that so we've got amino acids mm -hmm. and betaine so amino acids are the building blocks of your cells super hydrating but yeah. amino acids are the building blocks of peptides aren't yes they? so yeah. if you have amino acids in your system working really well you create peptides which creates collagen it's that whole it's like a chain Absolutely. On yeah, skin. Yeah, so yeah. we're going in a way to me to the source to support the source so that it can and work strengthen better. and and also supports the skin. Yeah? yeah, we also have this bioactive plankton, and this actually helps with the DNA repair. So it's any damage that the strong actives of the um, acids might have. Yeah, then this is able to repair it. Yeah, okay. so actually you're able to use these AHAs and the reveal yourself without any irritation. Okay. And that's actually really unique because I definitely in my lifetime never been able to actually get away with using AHA. Yeah. I've had to always play in the PHA space. Exactly. You've got the momentum of helping your skin and you don't want suddenly the downtime to affect your ability to keep on that journey and I think all those supporting ingredients are stopping you having the downtime yeah, so you can so, get not, on the journey. And it's not a pleasant experience if no. you're feeling like you've got redness and um, stinging you know these are formulas that have been developed to avoid that yeah. yeah so actually I think it's quite unique and it's also training your skin to be able to tolerate it's also repairing and healing mm -hmm. your skin mm -hmm. so everything has this anti-inflammatory approach and yeah. um, so I think it's a really different and unique formulas than what we have seen on the market so far fantastic thank you I hope this really helped Claire is always the woman of wisdom <laughs> who can explain in really clear detail why things work on your skin and why we put them in our formulations. Yeah. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Trini.